Hello everyone, it is Maya aka Base Artist and for today's video we are going to be doing a sketchbook tour which I know you guys love. Um, but before that, I just want to mention that I got some prints made. So this is my Steven Universe one, I really love how this one turned out. My Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus print and also my um, Sailor Ava speed painting is available as a print at my store at Face Art. You should really go check it out. I think it's super cool. You guys are going to love it. Alright, but now to this sketchbook tour. The moment you've all been waiting for. Let's crack my watercolor sketchbook open. Um, you can see on the front I have some stickers on it. I drew on it, but I did not like my drawing, so I put these cute little dog stickers that I've had for a really long time on them. But anyway, let's begin. So this page just says, start February 17th, March 14th, 2016. Today is February 14th, wait, February. Today is March 14th, aka the day that I'm filming this video, aka the day that I finished this sketchbook. And this is my very first drawing that I did in it. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, it's this really pretty deer painting that I did. Um... Do I like it? I mean, it's alright, I guess. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat, I, I suppose. Mm, I was trying to do like the negative space thing, which I don't feel like I achieved. But, you know, you gotta work at things. Um, on this page, we have these, this little image right here. This is me like wrapped up in a, like a little blanket cocoon in front of my computer with some snacks and stuff. And I made it into a comic. Oh, I forget what it says. I think it's something like, oh, it's like pointing to like these things and it's like ignored responsibilities, good shows, good snacks, and then like down here it says contentment or something. And then this page is just some pretty colors that I put in. Because who, who doesn't like pretty colors? Um, this is another comic I made. Kind of a sad one. Yeah. Anyway. Here we have, we have this cute little kitty cat girl. I did this in Copic marker and then I have like this ink painting of a cat behind her. I really like the way the like ink cat came out. Um, Copic marker, eh, it's something to get used to. On the other side, I actually went back and did this today because I didn't like the fact that this page was empty. And I was drawing with my niece and I was using her crayons and I made this afro lady. I like her quite a quite a lot. Um, next up on this page, I have some little pencil sketches. We have Sailor Moon and then like two original characters with no names or anything. They're just people that ended up in my sketchbook. Um, some Steven Universe stuff. On this page, there's rose quartz. I did this thing where I like I drew in pen. I forget which pen I used, like one of my pink pens, and then I like put water over top of it and it like blended everything out and stuff because the pen was water soluble. And then, of course, on the other side we have some crystal gems. And Steven doesn't have hands because that's just the kind of person I am. I actually have some rose quartz right here. <laughs> and I have amethyst too. Pretty. Oh, this next page is a page that I am not proud of at all. Um, I was drawing while I was on break at my job, and I was about to do some like cute cartoon stuff that probably would have turned out really nice. But then my coworker walked in, and I was like, okay, I have to do something impressive. I have to, you know, just that insecurity factor kicked in, and then I made this, which isn't impressive at all. It's quite the opposite. Right, this page you might recognize, um, especially this drawing from my outdoor sketch and chat. I don't quite like the way that it turned out, but you know, we roll with the punches. It was cold outside. Y'all saw that video, right? And then this is a little forest nymph that I have going on out here. I really like her a lot. Like She's just so cute to me. I think she's wonderful. Um, my next page is this girl and she's outside on a cliff and she's like got this dragon thing that she's petting 
and it's super dope and this is just um, scribbles basically I was color testing on this page and I didn't care I guess so this is a comic that I made here's like me walking and stuff I'm like ah oh, so pretty hi friend this is very heavily inspired by um, that walk that I took to get to where I did my outdoor sketch and chat, by the way. There is this cute little chipmunk that seen me and was terrified to death, and I just loved him so much. And there was like this big hawk thing out there that was like flying around. It was so cool. And I really do love it there. It's my favorite place. Well, probably my second favorite place. I think my favorite place is the ocean. But this, the forest, the swamp is like a close second. I painted some boys because I never do. I hate the way that he turned out, but everybody else is like decent. I like this guy, I think, the best. And I think freckles are really cute. I'll put freckles on them. Next page, we have some Madoka Magica stuff. Here we have Mommy with some like guns around her and stuff. I was like doing a process of this on my Snapchat. You guys should follow my Snapchat. I'm gonna put a little caption oh, where you can find me there and this side is Kyoko I have like her little spear going on and these are supposed to be Pocky sticks but I don't think you can tell since they're just blacked out but yeah that's what that is here I am drawing some things because I wanted it to be warm and I have this girl out here in a swimsuit and she's just giving y'all life just serving up a look and here are two other girls that are supposed to be out enjoying the sun and fun and all that. So this, I drew this one because I was sad. It's like me crouching down, crying. The colors are very solemn and stuff. And then I drew this because I was making fun of myself, like saying that I'm dramatic and stuff, which I mean, it's true. It's, I am dramatic. Next page. We have some mermaids. Um, let's zoom in on this one. We have a cute little mermaid girl and she's swimming around. I actually filmed this process but um, I never ended up uploading it and I've deleted the video since then. I was gonna have it, this be like a sketch and chat but uh, it's lost forever, sorry. The second page, these are all like doodly versions of um they're basically redraws um i don't know if you guys have watched but i did like a, a first part of all of my old art which i plan on picking up that series again soon but um since i was looking through my old art i was like i want to do a redraw challenge but here i'm just like sketching things that i had done before i really like this one right here this one's cute all right next page we have Link, um, the hero of time, legendary guy, person, yes, Link. And um, I was practicing like this top-down view because I am horrible at perspectives. I usually draw people like this, like this right here, just looking straight ahead um, with no real perspective or no real interest or anything. I don't know. I say that, but I do really like the way this headshot came out. I like the colors that I use. I think it's really pretty and appealing I don't know like the gold and pinks and browns and stuff I think they just look really nice together this was a fail um, I wanted to draw more like sad crap basically what I wanted to do was have like this dark background and then I wanted to draw over it with my white gel pen but the white didn't really show up the way that I wanted it to which is my fault because I didn't make it dark enough probably um, I'll try again next time. Maybe it'll be better. So over here we have this quick sketch and here's a little sneak peek of something I uh, might be working on a little later. Bodies. Bodies. Lots of bodies. And here is some trash that I did in COVID marker. boring page. I don't know if you can even see it. It's like the faintest sketch of my desk. 
here I'm exploring the effects that music has on a person. So you'll see over here on this side, I'm like happy and I'm like dancing around this table and stuff. And you see like I have the big white headphones on. And on this side, I'm like crying in the bathroom, which is like a typical I am sad thing for me. I don't know if anybody else does it. Maybe it's weird. I mean, I'm sure it is weird, but it's, it's real. It's what happens for me. This page is really cute. I love this page. This is like an expectation versus reality page. And on one side you have like these really serious shroomish. And here you have like some dorky ones. Shroomish is like my favorite Pokemon. Actually it's not like my favorite Pokemon. It 100% is my favorite Pokemon. I love shroomish to death. Like they are just so cute. Like look at that. Look. Like the first time I seen one I was in love immediately. I would love at first sight. I caught that Pokemon. I had to have it. I love Shroomish. Two ballerinas. I hate the way this one turned out passionately. Um, it looks gross. I mean, neither of them are the best things ever that I've done, but I really don't like this one. This one's pretty. I mean, it's alright. It's alright. And another very faint, boring page where I'm doing like the quickest gesture drawings ever in the world. Alright, here. This is a pencil drawing of Rookie from the Gazette. And then I went over it in like watercolors to do like the red of his eyeshadow and stuff. I like the way this turned out. It was cute. Um, I did this actually because I was on Tumblr and Tumblr sucks sometimes and doesn't load GIFs right. And this GIF froze and so I decided to, you know, make the best of that opportunity and I drew Rookie. He's so cute. On this other side is something that I did today. It is a crayon sketch. Um, like I mentioned before, I was drawing with my niece and I was like stealing all her crayons and I made this thingy. It's all right, it's cute. Next page. So, um, trying to think of this model's name. I think her name is Alec. I don't know if it's Alec or Alec. I think, I'm, I think it's Alex. Alex Weck, I think. And she had this like super cool photo shoot where she's like in this gold, super short dress and stuff. And she has like her hair done like, they're like bullhorns. And she looks so stunning in this um, picture. I did not do it justice at all. Like she looked, looked so stunning. It was crazy. But I finally got to test out my gold paint. Like. I've had this paint for so long and I've hardly even used it and I finally got a chance to and I did this. It was pretty cool, pretty fun to do. Here is me coloring in my favorite, my color Eno pencils and I kind of have this concept of like the two sides of me. Like on one hand you have like all the dorky stuff that I like. You have like shroomish Pokemon reference. I have like a 3DS drawn over here with like the little um, Animal Crossing logo. I have like the start of Isabelle's head, but not all of it. And I have like Steven Universe. There's like a Game Grump over here, and a Triforce, and the Gazette, that Japanese band that I like. And like this is the start of the word Girls' Generation, which is a K pop group that I am obsessed with. And yeah. And then on the other side, I have like afros and cactuses and like down here is supposed to be some words like poetry and discourse and reading and writing and stuff and aesthetics and i feel like i have these two parts of me that kind of meet in the weirdest way and i was just trying to illustrate that concept well, sketching out that concept really this is a full illustration and here we have this which is crazy compared to everything else that I've done like this isn't me at all um but I just made this shape of the head and I was like this looks like I, I don't know who this looks like I don't know whose style this looks like but it isn't mine but I just went with it and I was like all right well I'm gonna draw a little bit different um for this painting since I already went and drew the shape of the head and stuff and I came out with this very very anime looking character and on the other side I just blocked in some orange and then with a darker orange I went ahead and did an outline for the same character. 
And this, I think, is the last page. Yeah. I have this little ink drawing, and then me winking and saying it's the end. So that's what it is, guys. That was my February to March sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I think I'm going to buy another one of these. I really, really liked this sketchbook a lot. Um, I really liked being able to watercolor, and I really enjoyed like doing the watercolor sketches and stuff. I think I'm definitely going to pick up another one of these. So you're going to see more of that in the future. But yeah, you guys, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you don't forget that I have these awesome prints for sale at my store. And I'm just going to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.